I'm counting on you to answer the phones and wash the truck. And, as a trainee fireman, if there's a real emergency, call on the radio. Don't try to be a hero. Ten four, yes, sir. I'm a trainee, sir. Over and out, chief. <laughs> I got the firehouse all to myself! <laughs> Forget trainee! I'm a fireman! I'm a fireman! <laughs> beep, beep, beep! Look out, lady! <laughs> Don't jump, little fella. I'll save you. You wait right there. Hey, what's the big idea? Rock Granite's the name. Saving lives is my game. I'm a real fireman. here to chow down, wear a uniform, and zip around in that flashy truck anyway. So you want to be a fireman? It's not easy, you know. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Let's just get to the good stuff. Uh-uh-uh. No firehouse goodies till you prove you've got what it takes to be a real hero, like rock granite. And you start out by washing the truck. What? Oh, we're gonna have some fun together, you and me. Fire's one thing, but ever rescue a kitten from a tree? Big, fluffy, wuffy ones? <whistles> what a rush! And between calls, I'll teach you how to crochet pants. Knit one, purl one, drop one. No grub, no uniform, no driving the truck till I prove I got what it takes. Well, what do you know? Here's my chance. Well, howdy, ma'am. Can Fireman Woody borrow your baby doll for a safety demonstration? Ooh, oh my. Uh, Rock, do you hear a child crying? <laughs> Have no fear, Rock is here! Set yourself down while Woody's around. You're a trainee! Should do the trick. I'm coming, little lady. Ah! like some baby booties for Junior. Woody, a hand. In fact, both hands. Your baby will have booties faster than you can say rock granite would look great in a cape. I'll make sure this guy doesn't help me out this time. <laughs> Amazing! Yes, 
Yes, I <laughs> am. Really? All righty then. Ah! 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 Have no fear. Woody's here. I'll handle this, trainee. Ah! Oh! Come back here. I got you now. Give me that nut. Oh! And stay up. Trainee granted. Trainee? And why isn't the truck washed? How do you expect to become a real fireman if you don't do your job? But I... I Chief, the woodpecker. I mean, I... I, I can I crush your muffler? A pair of socks. Chief, you look snappy in a knitted bathing suit. Oh, yeah. What a day. Thanks for saving my cart, woodpecker. As far as I'm concerned, you get free hot dogs for life. Oh, boy. Starting now? <laughs> Pancakes are the best pancakes in the whole world. Chow down, eat up, and fill out that uniform, little soldier. <laughs> You're gonna make your Uncle Hogwash proud. And always Ooh. remember our motto. The Antarctic core is a cold core, but it's... A lot of fun! Is hot. Our motto is... The Antarctic core is a cold core, but it is a good core. Junior. Hoo wee, that's a really swell motto, huh? Mm -mm, I gotta write that down. No more pancakes until you have completed your daily duties. Now, do them all, do them well, and do not report back to me until they are done. As you were, soldier. Ooh. Hey, come back here, you! <laughs> Oh, it's a cute little old penguin thief. Bye-bye, <laughs> penguin. Let's see. The first thing I gotta do is secure the perimeter of the base. Wow, the perimeter goes all around the base. This can make a soldier dizzy. handles pancake thieves. The guard on duty. Ooh, that's me! Stop! Nothing! Ah! Ah! Hmm. Soft snow. Ah! You get back here with those flapjacks before I tell my uncle. Mm, better not tell uncle. I gotta do is to clean the top secret mosquito bomb launcher. Mm, when I did this in training class, I itched for a month. Step one, remove the mosquito bomb from the launching mechanism. I know right where that is. And put it out of harm's way. Here it'd be good. Perfect. Step two. 
A good soldier needs to be able to do this operation blindfolded. Mm, I don't remember this part from training school. Now remove the scope. Where's the scope? Here, Scopey, Scopey. Penguins are fast and very sneaky. Aha! You better drop that tall stack. Got him! Uh-oh. <laughs> That'll show you who's boss of you around here. Me! Oh! Skaters! Get back here, penguin! The Antarctic core is a cold core, but it is the... Uh, uh, I got it here somewhere. Well, it's a cold core, but it is better than a mosquito body in the butt. <laughs> Next thing I gotta do is organize the supply shed. With that sneaky penguin out of the way, this job should be way easy. Guess I showed that scaredy penguin a thing or two or three about me. Hmm? What's this? From the office of Uncle Hogwash. Pack all pancakes in the mess hall onto a snowmobile. Have Private Chili Willy, right, that's you, have him remove them from the base. We have information that an infiltrator may be after him. Hmm, brilliant strategy. That's why my uncle is the Sarge. Nothing gets by him, no sirree. Carry on, Private Chili Willy. No! You're not in the Antarctic core! You are just a stinky little penguin cheater, and I don't like stinky little penguin cheaters! Oh! Stop! Understood. Yes, sir. And why? Because the Antarctic core is a cold core, but it's what? A uh, core with a lot of duties? No, it's a cold core, but it's sometimes warm. No, it's a cold core, but it's it's your core, Uncle. Yes. No. Is the Woody World almost ready? Ready, not it! Cowabunga! and their coaches are making fortunes on the pro circuit. There are TV deals, equipment endorsements, and big prizes. Wow! <laughs> 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 With your talent and my coaching, these babies are going to make us rich and famous. Mwah. This is great, Uncle Woody! Yeah, a real skateboard park! I call 
called the scout in this article. He's coming to check you guys out, impress him, and we could get a pro skateboarding contract. Did you hear that, Louie? Those wooden heads want to go pro. Well, I've been skating this park for months. If anyone's getting a pro contract around here, it's gonna be me. Louie, we got work to do. Okay, first things first. If you want to impress a pro scout, you gotta look like pros. Image is the most important thing. Um, I don't think so. <laughs> and now to make you two hot dogs look like you're skateboarding 100 miles an hour just standing still. Well, you got the hot dog part right. Mustard, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's Billy and Louie! They're skateboard scum! Well, it's gonna take a lot more than their dumb tricks to stop us. Well, the scout's gonna wanna see pro moves like the Freddy Freakout, the Zapata Zigzag, and the Rooster Rail Ride. We can do those, Uncle Woody! Louie, we'll help you do some moves they'll never forget. Great move! The Freddy Freak Out! <laughs> you mean the Marble Meltdown. Dude's okay? Uh, yeah, I think so. Hey, go skate the kitty course. Oh, oof. Hey, what's going on? These are the kids you came to see. Yeah, well, I just about designed this course. I deserve any pro contracts that's being handed out. You're nothing but a smelly cheater. And you don't play fair. Hey, the only way for you to settle this is for you to decide for yourself, Chief. Of course, we'd love to race the little wooden heads, but look. They have annihilated and otherwise trashed the entirety of the course, so uh, no racing today. Says who? <laughs> Yay, Uncle Woody! Way to go! How are we going to beat him if we never skated this course before? This is all your fault. So easy. Oh, Billy, I am severely unbalanced. Oh. Yeah, in the head, you flea dip. Get your grubby paws off me before I. Ah! <laughs> this is all your fault, Louis. Put me down. I'd be a pro now if it wasn't. If it wasn't. If it wasn't for you, I'd be. Ah! Get back here! Totally rad ride. Dids, I want you guys on a circuit. Woohoo! We're going pro? Get some rest, coach. We start training 10 hours a day, 
First thing in the air. Ten hours a day? That's way too much work. No way! <laughs> A scientist who studies Boyd's in the Amazon is offering a thousand bucks for a rare red woodpecker. Ho ho! Hiya, friendo. Mind if I play through? Oh! <gasps> Why, hello, chum. <laughs> Clearly, you are a talented golfer of profound skill and aptitudes. Have you ever played the Amazon Back Nine? I've never even heard of the Amazon Back Nine, bub. Well, then this is your lucky day. Because I, Buzz Buzzard, of Buzz Buzzard's Air Ground and Anywhere Else Just Wanna Go Tours, have one seat left on my Amazon Golf Package. And I'm giving it away. Complimentary free-like. Free? We're breaking in a few new caddies down in the Amazon, and uh, we, uh, need a few golfers of your professional stabilities to, uh, uh, let us know what you think. Yeah. Wow. Free golf and my own caddy. Amazon, here we come. Now that's a water hazard. We don't want to spoil the rest of the course for years ahead of time. So long, suck it, yeah, Professor. Nice doing business with you. <laughs> hey, 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 let me out. I'm calling the better business board. <laughs> now you are mine, my precious woodpecker. Oh, yes, into the kit so I can study you close up. <laughs> I never heard of such lousy service. I'm reporting... Whoa! <laughs> Good day. Basil Birdhound here. Oh, my caddy. Okay. Hey, uh, grab the bag, Basil. That's Basil. Where's the first fairway, anyhow? <laughs> Stay still, you silly bird. <laughs> yes, now there'll be no more laughter when the name Basil Birdhound is mentioned. Oh, must you worth my old college professor when I return to England and show you my brilliant studies on this one-of-a-kind bird, you will see once and for all that I... Have bird seed on the brain. <laughs> oh. Oh. So, the hunt is on. Lost him like a bad habit. <laughs> Which way to civilization? What the? Basil Birdhound always gets his bed. He'll never 
be able to count. Puzzle bird hound will study you and tea time. <laughs> Won't you have a cup of tea? Oh yeah. I love tea. <laughs> it is the most civilized of all social practices, don't you agree? Uh, quite. I rank it right up there with uh... Get you off my tail, you freak! <laughs> So then I said to the judge, a stolen hat, but your honor, it's not a hat, it's shoulder pads! <laughs> you get it? Shoulder pads! Oh, that is rich! <laughs> well, if Basil wants to show his rare bird studies to old Professor Mustyworth, then I'll help him do just that. <laughs> About time you showed up, bird hound. A bit of a sticky wicket, this jungle, eh, what? Uh, Professor Mustyworth, you look different. Didn't you learn anything in my class? Why ever are you chasing some run-of-the-mill red woodpecker? What are you thinking, dog? Uh, 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 professor, uh, how, how did you, uh, I, I mean... When right outside your door is the extremely rare Bosidus Stupidus. Look for yourself. <gasps> yes! I see him, Professor. Oh, yes! He must be the stupidest bird in the animal kingdom. <laughs> uh, so, uh, go make him your life's work. Yes, yes, I shall doggedly hound him to the ends of the earth. <laughs> I must have the basset! <laughs> 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 Woody Woodpecker always gets the last laugh. Salvage Hunter Smedley, the world famous finder of lost undersea treasures, am about to fulfill my lifelong mission. These here little old X's mark the secret spots of the underwater treasure that's up for grabs to anyone who's smart enough to find it. I'm going to locate it all and retire rich, rich, rich on the sunny beaches of Tahiti. Undersea treasure, here I come. Huh? Well, shiver my timbers. That sailor talk. Are you a stowaway? Yes, you pango in. Like my mama always said, good riddance to bad rubbish. <laughs> out a certain stowaway and keep him from stowing away on my beach chair. Permanent light. My high-tech diving suit enables me to stay underwater longer than most divers. This here pirate ship sank over 300 years ago, and I'll just bet there's a big surprise waiting inside of this little old treasure chest. <laughs> Ghost! You again? 
Come back here and fight like a man, you little penguin. Enough of this horse play! Get off my sub and stay off! Bon voyage, you little penguin. Fifteen men on a seaman's chest. Y'all haul hum in a barrel of fun. This here powerful undersea vacuum can collect twice the booty in half the time. Hmm. Why, you? Give me back my key, you little vacuum clogger. Get back here! The wreckage of this here old battleship might contain some historical like treasures. Even an expert salvage hunter has to be careful using dynamite to free him up. Hmm. Sounds like something's already a might bit loose hereabouts. In this case, it's not. That boy is really starting to rust my doubloons. Cease and desist, before I desist you myself. Uh-oh. I'll just enter through the propeller shaft and surprise him to pieces. Yow! That does it, Penguin. It's Davy Jones' locker for you. Come back here, you little treasure trasher, you. Oh! No! Don't open that one! We need the surface! Surface! <laughs> we gotta get rid of some weight! Hoss out of everything but the valuables! <laughs> no! Now get out of my way and stay out! to a nice warm beach where no penguins are ever allowed. Welcome to another episode of the most cutthroat game show on television, Extreme Island. I'm your host, Carl Gastaway. And whoever survives this week's Castaway Challenge wins a positively volcanic prize package! <laughs> now let's meet our competitors! Oh. <laughs> Don't be shy. 
guy. <laughs> so, tell us your names and tell us your games. Hi, I'm Woody Woodpecker. I like long naps on the beach, breakfast in bed, and... <laughs> I'm Ms. Meanie. I was a Navy SEAL and I take no prisoners. Now that's the kind of doggy dog spirit our viewers love on Extreme Island. Okay, the first challenge is food gathering. Ooh, whoever stores up the biggest food supply and keeps the other from stealing it wins round one. Hey, yo, Carl, where's my trailer? And, uh, where's all the snacks they have around TV show sets? I'm famished. F finding food's part of the game. <laughs> <sighs> I've been... I've been over every inch of this island. There isn't a pizza parlor or a Tasty Mart anywhere. <gasps> hmm. Maybe I gotta start shopping at Mother Nature's supermarket instead. Tree. It's survival of the fittest, not the dimwittest woodpecker. <laughs> Carl wants to see dog eat dog, huh? Oh. I'll show him woodpecker eat. Ugh. What an amazing job! Military training, I learned to find food in the most out of the way places. Well, 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 hey. Mr. Woodpecker. Looks like Meanie's kicking your ever loving beach and bum, don't it? <laughs> so, uh, what are you gonna do about it, huh? Ah. Two competitors going at it, mono a mono. Now, our next competition is a real test of fortitude. Out of my way, woodpecker! That volcano of prizes is mine. She just put some kind of guest away hurting on you, hey, Mr. Woodpecker? Out of my way, Carl. This woodpecker makes wide turns. Oh, home sweet home! What an amazing shelter! Is this yours, Meanie? Why, uh... Yes! Yes, it is, Carl! Do I win? What do you got? Sunstroke? This is my house! Well, there you go. Looks like it is! Woody Woodpecker wins round two! But my house was here first! <laughs> well, looks like a tie game. And that means it's time for... The Gauntlet of Endurance! This obstacle course leads to the very top of our volcano of prizes. As a tiebreaker, whoever gets there first wins everything! What pecker? That does it! Out of my way. I'm taking this volcano just like I took Pork Chop Hill back in the military! Do you want volcano? I'll give you volcano.
wraps up another explosive episode of Extreme Island. Tune in next time when our new co-champions will face off against one another on a frigid, very remote island off the coast of Alaska. What? Not a chance! Wait, wait, come back! The, the, the audience loves you too. No, I mean you, you, you'll get your own spin-off. Country Fair. I'm taking my entry in the Hooray for Souffle contest over to the fairgrounds. While I'm gone, you have to babysit my niece. What? No way. Maybe you should get busy reviewing paragraph 3, subsection C, item 21A of your rental agreement. Ah! <sighs> Must babysit whenever needed or face eviction. Oh, man. She certainly looks uh, related. She's been at that book all week trying to earn a country cadet talent badge. <laughs> Genie, Woody here is gonna help you find a talent while I'm gone. There better not be any problems, Woodpecker, or believe you me, there'll be problems. Ta ta. So, you uh figure out your talent yet? Nope. Mind if I watch TV while you figure it out? Nope. Mind if I take a nap? Nope. Uh, all right, then. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's the matter? What do you think I'm good at, Mr. Woodpecker? Bothering me. Good at Mr. Woodpecker. Maybe you could show me that. <sighs> I'm good at napping. Watch. <laughs> yeah, what? My country cadet's handbook says woodpeckers are good with wood projects. Yeah, I'm real good with wood. When I'm not napping. <laughs> Wood is not your talent. Well, not yet. Well, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. No! Yeah! <laughs> hey, you can't cut down my tree for your talent badge. <laughs> then you have to help me find something else. I'm You're balling. We'll find a talent that's quiet! How about meteorology? Perfect. You study the weather, and I'll go study the inside of my eyelids. Back to what I do best. Hmm. I need a weather thing. I don't have a rooster. But I do have a woodpecker. Ooh, it's getting windy. Genie! What am I doing up here? Helping me with my meteorology talent badge. Which direction do you think you're blowing now, Mr. Woodpecker? Ha, 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 ha. 
Bingo! Bug collecting. That'll be your talent. Are you sure? It's delicate, quiet work. Now go collect some bugs and then uh, study what they do. <sighs> Hello? I'm in there, bugs! Hello? Hey, what do you think you're doing, Missy? We live here. You could hurt someone with that kind of poking. I'm studying bugs. What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> We're ants. We take food and we eat it. It's a living. Okay. No problem. Tango leader to Echo Base. We are go for Operation Deep Freeze. what your talent is, Genie. Sergeant, I know you're heading out on vacation. Well, the Antarctic Corps would like you to take it right here. But, sir, I was going to a warm tropical island. You scratch our back and we'll scratch yours, Hogwash. I'm assigning you to a priority one assignment. The military has been working on this secret biodome for over a year. What you're about to see is top secret. Meant for your eyes only. Ah, oh, it's a paradise. Yes, it's the pinnacle of modern military science. Everything here, from the steam from the artificial volcano to the smallest grain of sand, is designed to nurture a single precious crop. I hope it's yams. I love yams. Whoa! Ultra Nanas, a bioengineered superfood with all the nutrients for the army on the move. Oh, it's not yams. Sergeant, you are not to eat the bananas or touch the bananas. You are only to look at the bananas when you're feeding and watering them. Understood, sir. On second thought, you better not even look at him. Uh, sir, about my vacation. Enjoy it, Sergeant. As long as the structure is secure and the Ultra Nanas are thriving, you are free to enjoy all the dome's amenities. Carry on! Sir, yes, sir, see and sundry, see and sir! Vacation? Here I go. A little drip here and a little bitty drop there. And now it's time to unwind. Oops. Incoming! <laughs> Huh? Halt, you little bad burglar! You 
start transacting on government property. You are about to receive a lesson in trajectory. Could escape hogwash or the jungle, did you? Well, no knick-knack, jingle jungling way, Pee Wee. You are hereby dishonorably discharged. Here you go, my little thirsty worsty. A drinky winky. And don't you worry, that bad boy penguin won't bother you anymore. Now it's time to play. Ding, ding, ding. Uh, 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 die, die. Uh, uh. No pilfering penguin's gonna foul up my furlough. Song Duda. Uh, your vacation leave is permanently terminated until you fix that biodome top to bottom and regrow those ultra nanas. Now move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. work. I've been practicing all three of the big events. Swimming. <laughs> diving. <laughs> so, what do you say now, coach? Not interested. Did I mention the 
the prize? The prize? The winners get a two-week tropical vacation on board the biggest party yacht in the world. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Let's hit the beach and win that prize, Winnie. Hop to, hop to, hop to. <laughs> Welcome to the Big Beach Extravaganza. A thrilling ocean event that combines swimming, diving, and surfing. Oh, boys. This vacation prize package looks like heaven on earth. Oh! We've got a race to win, Tweaky. Get your mind where it belongs. On winning? On cheating. The first leg will be the mile swim. A sprint to the boy where the winner will claim the first of three flags. Eh, doesn't sound so tough to me. <laughs> That's probably because I'm the one swimming. Good luck, sports. And get used to looking at this. Because you'll be behind me staring at it the whole way. <laughs> no way. We're winning this race. Ha <laughs> oh, that's rich. <laughs> get ready to swim, Tweaky. Swim? Oh, no, bossy. I sink a lot. Whoa. Don't worry. When you push this little button here, you'll become instantly unsinkable. On your marks. Get set. And go! Oh, water reflectors! I'm swimming, boss! I'm swimming! Shut your yap and swim harder! vacation, don't you? Yeah, but just once I'd like to be the one putting rocks in your pants. Divers ready, set, and dive. Dive, Winnie, dive. Off you go. <laughs> wow. goes to Winnie and Woody Woodpecker. That means we're down to the final event, surfing. Winnie, you do the surfing, I'll watch the cheating. These woodpeckers aren't getting turnpiked, no way. Oh, oh, oh boss, this ain't working so good. Quit your grousing. Now to take care of them woodpeckers once and for all. Oh, a shark! A shark! Knock it off. It's just me. Oh, I, not everyone can carry off that look, but you can, boss. Get ready, Winnie! There's something fishy going on out there. Ah, shark! Fishy like a buzzard shark. It's not. 
to cross the finish line. Oh, well, give me, come here, Rolato. I got you. Winnie. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>